眼中的中国，名场面一。Again, yeah, everything is big. <laughs> big, very big. <laughs> It's huge. That's the, that's the impression. It's a really huge country with a lot of people, I guess. It's just so different from Europe. So, I would like to see like how people live. I imagine it's. To be a lot different from Europe. Many million uh, people. Uh, I will have problem to recognize uh, them. Who is who? Friendly people was nice. Very good food actually. The Chinese restaurants in Sweden are not anything compared to the ones, to the real ones, of course, in China. Everybody seems、uh, kind of kind, you know, a calm and、uh, a nice place, you know. The culture, the food, the language. It seems very nice. The food, the people, the yeah, very energetic. 名场面二 So today I'm going to talk about some things in China that are normal or rudimentary, but in America we would consider that to be extremely high technologically advanced things. The first thing is using your phone to pay for everything. I use my phone for normal phone things like talking to my friends or. Calling someone or searching the internet, but I wouldn't use my phone to pay people or buy things or do all the other things that I would use my phone for in China. Americans think that is really crazy, like really advanced, just to be able to use your phone to do everything and not even need to bring cards or bring IDs or bring anything. Only need your phone. That's crazy. The other thing is high-speed trains. Americans don't really use high-speed trains in America. We don't have any. We just have a slow train, and then we use cars and planes. So when Americans look at something like the Gautier, they think, "Wow, that's incredibly advanced," because that's not something that we see in our day to day life. Another thing is drones and robotics. Now in China, there's a lot of drones and robotics used for average everyday activities. Like if I buy something on Alibaba, somebody or not somebody, but a drone will come and bring it to my house and drop it off, and then go fly away. We still have people driving around in big trucks bringing us packages from wherever we get them. We don't have drones, and we don't have. That kind of advanced technology in America, we think that's super futuristic. Now, the last one is electric buses. Now, I know in China, electric buses are being used a lot more. In fact, there's something like nine thousand five hundred electric buses being bought every single month in China for all of its various cities. But in America, we rarely ever see electric buses. In fact, usually each city maybe has. One or two electric buses, depending on the size, and it's just to show that it's becoming more advanced. But in China, electric buses are very, very common, and that, in Americans' eyes, is incredibly futuristic. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think America is falling behind in innovation and technological advancement? Well, it's not America. China. 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 It's not made in China. I think everything is made in China. Oh, damn! <laughs> Look at every single thing. Probably like ninety, ninety-five percent. Ninety-nine point five. Ninety-five. Wow.、I'm、pretty sure. Made in China. Coffee, who is this? This pot is also Chinese. Zhao Cha is also Chinese product. When you hear the word "made in China," what does that、uh, bring to your mind? It, it used to tell me like low quality, but right now it has changed. Chinese factories have started improving the quality of what they what they are producing. And where are you from? I'm from Uruguay. Thanks so much. Bye. Can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. What is what is that? What does that bring to mind? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Less expensive. Like, yeah. Less expensive. Yeah. Cool. What are your opinions on、uh, made in China? Mm, yeah. Well, I think it's great. That they're、yeah. making things. What specific products would you think of as being made? iPhone. Yeah. Certain video games. 名场面是 Philadelphia. Philadelphia, awesome. The one with Ohio. From Africa, Nigeria. China is growing big and big every year because of the business and the, a lot of population. They have a lot of people that work in the industry. I believe that the next couple of years, China will be the number one in the whole world.
America needs to get on track. America's got to get on track. If, if we don't get on track, then we're going to be the second. We're going to be second best. By Trump, we're already the second best. So we got we got to get him out of here. We got to get people in here. That's going to make us first. Wow 大部分人出国旅游的时候会选择东南亚地区的国家也喜欢去中国旅游现在中国的经济发展非常的迅速高铁技术更是让人惊讶而且中国的街道非常的整齐各位网友们对当地人的回答满意吗明场面六 How many Chinese cities can you name? Oh, three max Two or three probably Maybe two, three Two Hong Kong Nice to mm, Tokyo, Japan Wuhan. Wuhan Shanghai is a city Tokyo is a city. Hong Kong is, is Dubai a Chinese city? Or Wuhan? Hong Kong! Beijing and Wuhan. Hong Kong, Beijing. Tokyo, Beijing. Shenzhen, Guangzhou, Beijing, uh, Shanghai, Hong Kong, um, Taipei's in Taiwan, uh, but still a Chinese city. Beijing, Shenzhen, Shanghai, is that Taiwan though, I think. Wuhan lately, Hong Kong. Shanghai, Hi. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Uh, is Dubai and China. Um, big, a lot of people and a lot of discipline. Discipline. The buildings, like the beautiful temples and stuff. A lot of people, like right. really crowded. I think a big economic powerhouse that is going to be one of the major countries in the next um, few years, definitely. I can only think about their food, really. That's it. They've got good food. Yeah. Very fast paced. They've got quite a lot of power climate wise as well for in influencing the rest of the world. I studied at Beijing University and Fudan University as and well. What has your experience been like living in China? Absolutely fantastic. I loved it. It was literally the best experience of my life. I think we're very dependent on them. I think that's good. You know, there's a good connection with us. Yeah. Um, I've actually been there quite a few times. I love the place. I love the culture. What, are you, what is your impression of the Chinese people? Friendly? Yeah. Friendly? Um, yeah, I like them. My housemate's Chinese, so we get along really well. <laughs> they seem pretty reserved. Like, I think it's quite a conservative culture from what I've seen and heard of. What language do they speak in China? Chinese? Uh, Mandarin. 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 The current is Yuan. Ah, I know uh, the national dish is sushi. When I think in China, I think in overpopulation, pollution, the Great Wall, and Mao. Their capital is Beijing, otherwise known as Peking, I think, yeah. A lot of stuff is regulated. Say, for example, the internet is regulated. CCTV cameras all over the place just looking at people. I don't know if that's true or not, but if they regulate the internet, then people have more or less no privacy. Kung Fu comes from there, Great Wall, Jackie Chan, I love his movies. I have friends from Vietnam, so I think that maybe food is quite similar. As I know, they call this Bambus country. A famous animal is panda, yes, I love panda. Of course, uh, sushi rolls. <laughs> popular language nowadays. I think in uh, near time Chinese uh, will be more popular than English and all we have to learn it. A really strong economy. The whole manufacturing of the world is if they, are, they have a lot of factories. Chinese music very calm and um, important for uh, the health of the soul. When I saw uh, temples of Buddha I felt something 
not important, but uh, something uh, deep inside of me, something that uh, could call me to this country. In almost every outlet you go in Nigeria, you find a Chinese product uh, because Chinese products um, offer low cost but also quality electronic products like phones. Uh, I know that uh, there are many dialects in the Chinese language, and the most uh, popular one is uh, Pinyin, which is uh, spoken in that country. Chciałbym powiedzieć, że wielu ludzi z Rosji jeżdżą na, na zakupy do Chin i na zarobki. Americans don't know anything outside their country. They ask because they don't know. Not because they think it is true, so then they ask. Moreover, because Americans' impression of the Chinese are derived from movies and TV shows, Americans know very little about China. A lack of motivation to know is because Chinese is too difficult to learn. Chinese is the most difficult language in the world because it's just such a difficult language. So it's really hard for Americans to understand China thoroughly. They really only know it through news and TV shows and other media. I think that most Americans don't have a good or bad impression about people from China because they just don't know enough to make an impression. The questions to ask people and to see like, you know, what things about China they know. Again, don't worry if you're wrong or right, it doesn't really matter. Um, just, just, do, just do your best, just do your best. So, um, so the first one is, what is China's population? Two billion. Two, two billion? A billion? Like 20 billion. 20 billion? A billion. And well, one billion people. Four million. Four million? Yeah. A lot more than us. One billion? I like, like 10 million? I don't know. A million? Yeah. I'd say in a billion? I would say billion. Billion, okay. Yeah, I don't know, maybe 200. Maybe a little bit People there, right? Yeah. 200? Oh. Million? Billion? No, 200 is too much. Roughly 700 million. 700 million? 700 million? One, one and a half is actually very close. One point four. Ooh, so. <laughs> so have you ever been to a Chinese restaurant? Yeah. Yes. 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 Chef's gallery. So what's your favorite Chinese food? Dumplings. Dumplings. Szechuan chicken. Uh, Mongolian lamb. Do I ever tried some Chinese food? Yeah. <laughs> I was very good. I like Chinese food. Um, yeah. Which is your favorite Chinese food? Mine is a sweet one, the Emperor Puff. <laughs> I like uh, noodles and stuff, rice, like the classic basic stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> My favorite food is the same, like Lisa. Yeah. So, like, have you ever been to a Chinese restaurant? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, which dishes is your favorite Chinese food? Oh, um, I like Peking duck. That's my favorite. I had that in Beijing and it was really delicious. So I like so that. We've tried Chinese food before, yes. Yeah, it's really good. So, which is your favorite? Mm. Um, <laughs> probably honey chicken, yeah. You know? Yeah, mate. Peking duck, love it. In your own country. Uh, they always uh, hold their phone. I see a lot of Chinese people that negotiate really, really hard. Communal. Cool. They eat together, they spend a lot of time together, they buy houses together and all live in one big house. We have a good style. Good food. Your language is very difficult. It's maybe difficult for them to integrate. They tend to be a lot with each other. It's very common to see them Only together. Chinese yeah. Chinese yeah. Chinese Chinese people. With Chinese More than other cultures. Yeah. Yes. But what about yeah. other foreign communities? So we do it like when I lived in London, I also had Italian friends. Uh -huh. So that's normal. But I also had a lot of friends that were not Italian. Uh -huh. And I see this less in Chinese. People don't know much about China. Yeah. They have, like, all the countries in Asia are all the same. All the food and yeah. the behavior. They think like that's small, that's all the same people. They think it's just one good culture. It's just lots of people and that's all. For example, yeah, I have my sister right now in Hong Kong and yeah. I'm here the weekend and they think we can meet each other. I was like, no way, like that's way too far. Just check them out. They're like, oh, really? <laughs> they know, oh, so yeah, that's, that's big country. Hard workers. Really, really smart and hard workers. Serious. They follow trends. They're always like different from all of the rest with their style. So what's the image of China before you came to China? 
China. They produce everything. They have everything. You produce everything. And everything is made in China, made in China. Copy. Copy is also very copy? famous from the past. China. Chinese characters are way more complicated, and at least like with English, you can kind of sound it out. Whereas with Chinese characters, it's either you know it or you.